everyone, my name is Amrita and uh, I thought I would just give you a talk or maybe just help everyone um, with the exams that I have today. So I recently passed the MFD exam conducted by the Royal College of Surgeons Ireland and um, I attended this exam in Dublin. I must say it was a very good experience um, for the fact that the exam was very well organized and um, it definitely um, I'm sure this I'm sure this video is going to help all those people who are aiming for the RCS Ireland exam so if I have to tell you about the exam it's basically a two-part exam that is it is conducted in a day so the first part is basically the OSCEs and the second part would be your viva section now for the OSCEs, there were two types of OSCEs. One was the written OSCEs and another one is the skilled OSCEs. So the skilled OSCEs would be about um, around three to four of them. Uh, and um, the written OSCEs were around 13, 12 to 13 of them. And you have to attend every, every OSCE and each OSCE would last for about five minutes. So for the skilled OSCEs, one, one very important station which everybody has to do is the CPR uh, and yes cranial nerve examination this was another station um, so the, this, this was the basic um, OSCEs which included the skill sessions the next of the rest of the sessions were all written OSCEs they were given five minutes and um, in every five minutes there would be a set of questions which you were supposed to answer for example, if, if there was a question of lichen planus, then they would ask you uh, what kind, what is the type of lichen planus that you see, what would be your diagnosis, what would be your management. These are all the questions that come under the one, um, one question like the lichen planus. So in that way, there are like 12 to 13 of those questions, which were not too difficult as long as you have studied your um, basics and you've gone through your books then it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be difficult for you all right then then the second part was um was after two hours so the exam started at about eight in the morning where we went uh, we were asked to give sure identity proof that is we showed our passports and then we would be signed in and made to, to sit in the lecture hall after which we would be taken to the hall where the exam was conducted and um, each of us were given obviously the numbers which was previously assigned to you before you gave your exam we went into the hall and they showed us our individual respective spots where we would, we would, we would start the exams during after every five OSCEs we were given a rest station where you could even complete whatever maybe you have left behind or you you didn't you fell short of time during the previous um, stations so that was really good where uh, so you could uh, think and you know you had five minutes to write anything which was incomplete so that was that and uh, once this was over we had a break of about two hours followed which was our viva session during the viva session we had uh, three examiners who examined us um, there would be case scenarios they would they had their ipads with them or their laptops and they would show you cases and they would ask you how would you diagnose it for some times for some cases or sometimes there would be uh, cases uh, uh, um, cases where they would show you um, individual uh, problems and they would ask you how would you manage it so that was about the uh, viva session yeah and the viva would last for about um, I would say 10 15 minutes maximum or it goes beyond that and yeah that, that was that was my experience and yeah guys love Dublin is a very beautiful city I loved it it was a lot of fun 